Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. Today we are going to make what I hope is a very easy toilet paper tube craft. We are going to try to make Hello Kitty. I want the Hello Kitty to be not quite as long as an entire toilet paper roll, so I'm going to cut off about oh, an inch. This can be saved for future crafts. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue white paper to the tube or you can paint. I'd rather just go ahead and use paper since all we need is white. And what I'm going to do is take my regular school glue and I'm just going to go ahead and... Oops, first I wanted to see how much I need. I'm going to cut this in half lengthwise just so I have enough paper on both ends to wrap inside the tube. And I'm just going to add some glue. And I like to take a damp, big brush, just wet that a little bit, and just spread that glue all around. And now we're just going to roll this up. And you might need to add a little bit more glue at the very end just to seal that up good. So much for using a paintbrush. I am now using my finger. And then while this is drying, you can make some little slits in the paper all the way around. Both top and bottom. Add a little bit of glue inside. And then now I do indeed use my finger to spread that all around in there. Then I just fold the paper in. And that gives us a nice clean edge. That a minute to dry. Now to create the ears, we're just going to push in, let's see, I'm keeping the seam in the back. We're just going to push in one side of the toilet paper tube, like about halfway over, and then the other side. And just pinch those. And we have little ears. See? And that should just stay as put. You don't have to glue it or anything. Now we're going to do some very simple drawing. Very simple. Need a black marker. I always use permanent. You can use what you want. I know I have one somewhere. Probably 20 of them. We're just going to make two circles for eyes or little ovals or whatever you want to do. A little circle for a nose and some whiskers. Go upside down to do the whiskers this way. And that's it. And we can color the nose pink. I don't know what color Hello Kitty's nose actually is, but we're going with pink. Last but not least, we want a little bow. So let's take a piece of white paper. And let's make a pink bow. I'm just going to go ahead and color a piece of paper pink with my most dry pink marker that Sandy would want me to throw away. <laughs> I only say that because I tell Sandy about my obsession with not being able to throw away markers when they're dry. See, I just put that back. It's dry. I feel like if I put it back, it'll get new life or something. So let's go ahead and do it with a better marker that I will also never throw away. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Good enough. Now we're going to draw a simple bow shape and I'm just going to start with like a little like kind of ovally kind of square thing there and like this. And like this, and you can put a couple little lines like this. And that is a perfectly fine bow. And I'm just going to trim outside of the black. Well, let me cut it out first, and then it'll be easier to trim. And then we are going to just glue this right here on our little kitty. You know, the secret to this kind of glue is like to not put too much, like I just did. It's really better if it's just not too much and then it sticks better and there's no right way or wrong way for this bow so I'm just going to stick it right there at an angle and look how cute this is I mean seriously 
You can totally use these as place cards at a birthday party table or any party table. You could just put the child's name underneath and then put this at whatever plate you want them to sit at. I don't know if people still do that. I always loved that and I always did that for my son's parties was put the child's name at their place. And they always loved that, walking around the table to see where they were sitting. And or you can also fill with candy treats or toy treats. Doesn't always have to be candy. And just make a bottom by, you know, gluing some construction paper on the bottom. So it can be a little treat container like that. In this case, they could even open the top to take the candy out. Another thing you can always do is just take a little baggie and fill it with stuff and then just stuff the baggie in there. Usually it will stay just fine. Or you can just make a bunch of these for the kids to play with. And you can make all colors. So I hope you enjoyed and I will be back with more soon. Bye! If you enjoy these very simple crafts that you can do with the kids, please subscribe because I have many more toilet paper roll crafts on the way. I'm obsessed with them. Thanks!